On Wednesday, October 7, 2020, St. Lucia recorded a new case of COVID-19. The individual is a 29-year-old female national who arrived in St. Lucia on Sunday, September 27, 2020 from the United States. She was placed in government quarantine on arrival. As per national protocol, she was tested on the seventh day in government quarantine and upon receipt of her test results was transferred to the respiratory hospital for care. The Ministry of Health and Wellness has commenced the contact tracing and testing will be done on all who may have been in contact with the case. Quarantine continues to be an important component of the containment and overall management of St. Lucia's COVID-19 response. Quarantine is necessary for people who may have been exposed to an infection. It restricts their movement as they are at risk for possibly developing related symptoms. Quarantine requires people to stay in a designated location for a specific period of time. Active monitoring in quarantine includes temperature checks and checking for respiratory symptoms. From March 2020, quarantine centers were set up in St. Lucia using various hotels to facilitate the large numbers of returning nationals and any non-nationals that may arrive of concern. These quarantine services have been provided free of charge to the public. In an effort to sustain the availability of state-based quarantine options, it has become necessary to apply a fee which has been subsidized by the government. Effective October 15, 2020, quarantine daily fees will be applied as follows. For single occupancy, US $95. For double occupancy, US $165. And for triple occupancy, $240. US. Double and triple occupancy applies to families within the same unit. Home quarantine will apply to minors, persons with specific health conditions, and those with conditions to allow home quarantine. As we continue to open the various sectors, the public is advised to take personal responsibility to protect themselves, their family, and colleagues by ensuring responsible behavior at all times and in all locations. We continue to increase surveillance to reduce risks such as illegal entry at the borders, breaches to home quarantine, and non-adherence to protocols. We advise on safe masquerade gatherings by adhering to the established guidelines. The public is also advised that new sectors open will also have protocols in place. These include the use of face masks in public and maintain safe physical distance from others. As usual, the Ministry of Health and Wellness will continue providing updates.